Hello and welcome to Rets Gaming Days. My name is Rets Retro, and this is episode three of Rets Play Pokemon Blue for the Game Boy, because you know it's retro. Right. Um, as a thing, I do have a bit of a weird surprise here. Uh, I'm doing a bit of a shout out. I'm doing a bit of a shout out to some people that I've spoken to recently, um, because like most people of this day and age, I am on Facebook. I do believe there's even a Facebook link. Where am I even going? So I'm trying to find my way back to the Pokemon Center, and you know, with all these black and whites, I can't say no, no black and white colours. I can't just say uh, it's by the green tree. There is no green. There's no tree. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, I've been. Um, uh, I've been on Facebook a bit recently, and um, some of you may know that within the university I'm at, I've got a store, I've got Rets Gaming Store, which is a retro gaming store, and uh, we're doing quite well, we've got um, Mega Drive set up in the store, and Amstrad CPC 464 set up in the store, because we're just that retro, um, but as well as that, um, we obviously have things to sell, because, you know, what kind of store would it be if there wasn't things to sell? Well, as well as this, we've had a few other things, um, like, uh, as well as having the need for stock, we've also had the need for, you know, new games to Let's Play, because thanks to the lovely guys at the Gaming Shed, who I'll be doing a separate video to shout out for using the, the hardware that they uh, advised me on, um, because I'm not using it for this, um, yeah, we got a uh, nice bit of hardware come through recently, which means that we're going to be able to um, record from, um, if I can remember the name, um, Silly Wild Rider. So you broke my train of thought. Go Angel the Weedle. Wolfie, no face palm in the Angel the Weedle. That's named after my brother Sin's wife. Because Sin's the Caterpie. I probably did that the wrong way around. She's trying not to laugh. I mean, her face here is priceless. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> ah. There you go, Angel. Poisoning the Radisar. Uh, anyway. And uh, basically, through this whole thing of Facebook, uh, there's a lovely group that I want to do a shout out for called Game Trader. And as you can probably guess by the name. Uh, as you can probably guess uh, by the name Game Trader, this group on Facebook is for, you guessed it, trading games with one another, doing purchases and sales. Well, I've recently done a few purchases, and needless to say, if it wasn't for the lovely people on Game Trader, I wouldn't have the stock that I have now. Of course, I now need to try and get a driver's license so I can bring all the stock to the university, but, you know, let's go on to, uh, to first world problems later. Um, so, uh, I've got um, a few sales done, and uh, to anyone that knows the store and goes to the store and has seen the vast increase in Mega Drives and, uh, and in Master Systems and in games and in... Christ knows what else that we're selling. I don't even know, and I'll run the bloody thing. You know, God knows what else we're selling there. Um, it's all thanks to the people at the Game Trader. Uh, now, I spoke to Denise uh, Horgan. Denise Horgan, I think it is, yeah. Sorry if I got your name wrong there, Denise. I'm really bad at memories, and I remember... Uh, I'm really bad at remembering things. And whilst I remembered to write down everybody else's name on a notepad, I didn't uh, think to write down yours. I do apologise. I um, spoke to Denise Hawken, who runs the group, and she said it's perfectly fine for me to do this video, and she was quite happy uh, for me to... Uh, Angel is dying. God damn it, Angel. Uh, she's quite happy for me to be... Um, no, no, Angel. No, no, no. Uh, go and sin. Save your wife. Um, anyway, she's quite happy for me to be um, uh, talking about Game Trader and putting this video up on their Facebook and then telling all of them there to share it with all their friends, you know. Because they're really nice people. Come on, guys. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, anyway. Um, I made a few purchases. Um, and we're quite happy with, well, everything we've got. And 
to be honest, some uh, some of the people I'm mentioning, uh, no, one of the people, one of the people I'm mentioning, um, I haven't actually had the item come through yet. Uh, but that's because I, mean, I think I only did the purchase yesterday. You know, so give it some time. Um, anyway, so I'd like to do a shout out to Chris Retro. Hey, there's another Retro. He's got the same name as me. Hey, Chris, we could be brothers. Anyway, uh, so there's Chris Retro, uh, Chris Hall, Rob Bickerdyke, Matt Woodward. Wayne Austin and Carl Inskip. Right. I hope I pronounced all of those right. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard to pronounce them, you know, I shouldn't have had a problem pronouncing them, but you never know with me. Oh, god damn it, am I going to find anything apart from that star? I came here for a reason, god dang it. Anyway, um, oh crap, I forgot about that. Angel's dying. Um, oh, what's up, Wolfie? You know, say that a bit louder so everyone else can hear you. Uh, she basically said, whenever I say the name Angel, she want, uh, wants to uh, sing Breaking Benjamin, is it? Yeah, Evil Angel by Breaking Benjamin. It's quite apt. You know, cons considering it's, you know, my brother's wife. You know, it's supposed to be evil. Angel is going to slap me if she sees this. You know? Oh, and actually, you know... Oh! Let me know, Wolfie, don't fall. Uh, seems I have mentioned Angel and Sin, which, you know, is going to happen. I must also do this. Congratulations, Angel and Sin, on uh, the new bump. Well, used to be bump anyway. Yeah, Angel and Sin um, just had their first child. So, congratulations. Round of applause. Wolfie, clap for me. I have no hands. Louder! <laughs> you got to do it so the microphone can pick up on it. Awesome. Ah, Nidoran, and it's a female. On Pokemon Blue, you can't get guy ones. Uh, go Sam Chu. No killing it. Right. Wolfie, you can be thinking of a name for a female Nidoran. Um, uh, you don't get no seconds, goddammit. Anyway, so yeah, um, Chris Retro, Chris Hall, Rob Bickerdyke, Matt Woodward, Wayne Austin, and Carlin Skip. You guys are all amazing with all your sales and stuff. Oh, what the? What the heck? I should be scared, and I'm not sure that I'm allowed to repeat what Wolfie just showed me. Um, so I'm sorry, Chester Bennington. Uh, anyway, uh, don't ask. Um, oh, yay, Nidoran is paralyzed and fully paralyzed. Uh, pa paralyzed? That's not right, paralyzed. Catch the Nidoran! Wolfie, you better have thought of a name by now. Um, oh, you're lucky, it wasn't caught. Cool. I want to catch it! And another Thunderbolt will probably kill it. Let's try again. Catch the damn thing! But yeah, so those guys that I've mentioned are all um, excellent sellers. Extremely trusted, and this Nidoran is being a pain in the bum bum. Uh, yeah, trusted sellers and everything, and, you know, awesome source and stuff. Um, I mean, Chris Retro, I do believe I bought about 10 boxes worth of stuff off of. And, you know, um, he he's helped with the majority of stock, and uh, if it's still okay by him, uh, he's kind of somehow done this whole business partnership thing of being a Ret's gaming store provider, you know, a supplier even, that's the word I needed, supplier. So, um, you know, that's all really cool. Um, and so... Yeah, it's the thing of, to anybody out there that's not on the Game Trader group, uh, seriously, if you like games, be the modern or retro, and trust me, a lot of retro stuff goes on there. And, I mean, come on, we just got come through, um, damn it, I can't remember which one it was that I bought from, uh, bought this from, but we just had come through Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, and I'm going to be Let's Playing that alongside this Pokemon Blue Let's Play. So, you know, I've never played the game before. Never in my life have I played it before. So I'm going to be doing it blind. Uh, Wolfie, nickname for Nidoran. Female. Come on, nickname it. Loud air. <laughs> Loud air. <laughs> oh, come on. You know I'm bad at names. You don't want me just uh, to just call it Guinea Rat or something. Come on. 
I never said it did look like a guinea pig. I said guinea rat. Anyway. Come on, something. Come on. You don't want me giving it a bad name. Or going with your name for the male Nidoran. No, because you were saying if it's a male Nidoran, you're just going to call it Steve. Don't make me call this one Steve. I'll give it lipstick and everything. Well, I think that's only Wobbuffets that get lipstick. But, you know. Yeah. Uh, come on. You, you're keeping them waiting. Uh, I don't know. Oh, come on. It looks like a guinea rat. <laughs> uh, oh, that's just silly. Uh, yeah, it's a girl. I could call it that. I could call it that. I could call it Queen Bee. <laughs> You want me to call it Queen Bay? Yeah, Queen Bay. Alright. See, I'm crap at names. Oh. There we go, I've got Queen Bee and Nidoran. Right, um, that's all I was going back there for was to get that Nidoran, because it was a thing I've kind of to show that it's there. I think you can also get Mankeys from that area, but I can't be bothered to go and catch a Mankey. I've got my team now. Right. Uh, I'm at the beginning still. I'm just about to. Oh, I've jumped over a wall! Uh, I'm just going <laughs> about to go through. Um, yeah, you can. I'm fairly certain you can. Yeah. Well, it, it doesn't matter. I'm not going back anyway. I'm. I got what I, I got. What I went in for. I now have my random ass team. What's that? See, if I had a monkey, I'd call it Bubbles. Whoa! Why are you? Why are you laughing? How is that funny? Calling a monkey Bubbles. You know that, that's not laugh at me worthy, is it? I mean, come on, seriously. Grow up, Wolfie. Go. Uh, anyway. <laughs> right. Now, this video has already gone on for 12 Thank minutes. You. I ain't bloody done anything. Red. Mankeys are in red. All oh, right, Mankeys are in Pokemon Red. I do apologise. God, I, I don't know enough about Pokemon. I'm not retro enough. <laughs> you know, actually, speaking of retro, um, and actually back to speaking of Game Trader again, actually. I saw something on Game Trader recently, which I didn't even know existed, and I really should have, being the, uh, being the retro Sega person. Has anyone heard of an Amstrad Mega PC? It was apparently an, um, a release of the Amstrad that was done. Oh, God, I should have been doing a voice. Uh, I forgot what the first bit he said was, so I'm just going to say, Out if you're a Pokemon trainer, which is only half a sentence, so, you know, it's kind of useless. Anyway, um... <laughs> Buttcatcher wants to fight. Buttcatcher sent out Weedle. <laughs> oh crap, that's a higher level Weedle. Um, Angel, swap out for... Balls. Uh, no, don't swap out for balls. Swap out for Pigeon. That will do something. Uh, da -da -da. Um, what's that? Sorry, uh, right, let's see now. Pigeon speed fell. Pigeon, use Gust! See, that, that's why I know um, that there's some people that, um, yeah, uh, what's it? That uh, old Super Effective cartoon, uh, uh, comic, sorry, that VG cats used to do, or still do, I don't know, where they uh, nicknamed the pigeon Butts, so his Butts used Gust. <laughs> anyway, um, so that was a real childish moment. Anyway, uh, this Amstrad uh, Mega PC thing. Um, uh, this Amstrad Mega PC it was basically like an Amstrad computer. Oh, well done, Angel, Grand Silver Six. Um, it was uh, basically an Amstrad computer. Uh, but, of course, the difference with it was, was that it played Mega Drive games. I don't know if it played them all. That I haven't really researched into it or anything like that. So I honestly don't know. Um, but yeah, um, basically this Amstrad Mega PC is, oh, god damn it, I think I used Growl on accident. Yeah, I did, that was silly. Uh, but yeah, uh, basically, yeah, um, the Amstrad played Mega Drive games, which I just think was really awesome, and there was this guy that was selling it on Game Trader, and if I had the money, I would have gone for it, but, you know, I didn't. 
because I don't have any money now because I'm poor. <laughs> you know, it's just no money. But there we go. I I've used it all, like buying stuff off the other guys and paying bills, that too. But, you know. Wow, this is going to take a while for Queen Bee to take on Kakuna Matata, isn't it? Come on, Queen Bee. Oh, don't keep missing. Uh, no, can't be bothered to wait that long. I'm going to swap over to um, Pigeon again. And go, Pigeon! Um, let's see. Gust. But yeah, so we've got um, a, a new game come through. Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. And I've never played any Paper Mario game before. I I played about 15 minutes worth of the N64 version. Um, and I've played and completed Super Mario um, RPG, I think it's called. Um, I think it's called Super Mario RPG on the Super Nintendo. Uh, I played that and that was um, an amazing game. It really was. Um, but yeah, I've never played Thousand Year Door. All I know about Thousand Year Door is a little bit that Wolfie's told me. Uh, and I've seen... She's been watching uh, Nintendo Capri Sun Let's Play it. So I've seen a bit of that. I haven't seen much of it, but I've seen a little bit of that. But I mean, Wolfie's playing Paper Mario in the background at the moment. Uh, whilst I try and beat up this Kakuna Matata. That's being annoying. There we go. But yeah, so I mean, thanks to whoever it was that I bought that off of. That I honestly can't remember. Because, you know, it's been more than 10 minutes, which means my memory's gone already. Uh, <laughs> but catcher's bet you as we do. But yeah, so. I'm going to enjoy playing that and let's play in that. Um, you know, sorry, I'm concentrating. It's bad that I have to concentrate to beat a Weedle here. No, oh, I don't bloody know anymore. <laughs> But yeah, so big shout out to Game Trader and all that because they are awesome and you can get loads of stuff. But the, the other thing is, with some people, obviously, um, with all things, like it, when same as when using Amazon and eBay and anywhere else, you do have to watch out because there are going to be some people that will try and cheat people out. But the lucky thing with Game Trader is um, if you try to buy, if you want to buy something from someone and you're not sure whether you can trust them um, just post a message uh, saying uh, I'm going to be buying from this person uh, are they trusted or are they not and people will tell you their history with the person uh, it is that simple I mean, most purchases are done using PayPal anyway um, admittedly I think a lot of them uh, opt for using gifted rather than using it as an actual purchase Red's found an antidote. Um, but, you know, it's one of those things, it's it's all a risk, but, you know, I I haven't really had any problems yet on Game Trader, and I've been on there for, I don't know, I mean, I've been on there for a long time. Um, good four or five months, if not longer, and I haven't had any troubles, I mean, it's all been golden. Those people that I named earlier of Chris Retro, Chris Hall, Rob Bickerdyke, Matt Woodward, uh, Wayne Austin, and Carlin Skip. They're not the only people I've bought from. It's just they're the people uh, that I could remember that I've bought from. Um, so, you know, and I can say for a definite that those are all trusted. They're all really nice and, you know, no problems. Uh, I have bought from others um, without any problems. Um, Re got Nintendo 64, so gone into stores, re-got Master Systems and got Master System games either for myself or for the store you know, it, it's one of those things, it's you know it, it's been worth it and if you're a fan of retro games which you know, 95% of the people that watch this channel are like probably a fan of retro games all things considered um, ooh, it's a fight hey, wait up, what's the hurry? Um, but yeah, 95% uh, of the people that watch this channel are most likely retro fans and uh, either have the games already or want them or emulate them or whatever. So, you know, if you're wanting to buy more, I mean, go on Game Trader. They, um, you can, it, 
with some people they'll do collections so if you're if you happen to live near them you can go over to the house and collect, uh, pay in cash and collect it or whatever or with a lot of people they'll um, add postage uh, for a fee but the fee is whatever the postage amount is you know so if it costs three pounds post it's gonna cost you three pounds for the postage which is fair really isn't it um, so yeah uh, that's that's my little thing that I wanted to say you know my little bit for game trader so thank you very much everyone at game trader and you know feel free to share this video with your friends and check out the rest of my videos you know I might be doing advertising for you but I've got to advertise myself at the same time uh, <laughs> sorry I had to um, but yeah so ta-da um, and I'm just currently going through Viridian Forest I think it's called I'm forgetting the names it's has it really been that long since I played Pokemon Blue? Um, oh, uh, let's see. Where am I ending up? Yeah, I think I'm at the end of the forest. It was Viridian, wasn't it? Yeah, leaving Viridian Forest. Pewter city ahead. So, there we go. Um, is there any point in talking to these people? Have you noticed the bushes on the roadside? They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move. I think I've just done a female voice for a bloke, but oh well. Many Pokemon live in forests and caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds, including on completely different games. Because the only way you're going to get them all is by having Pokemon Blue and Red. But, you know, enough of that. It, was, it works for Nintendo, and Pokemon's their biggest selling franchise they have, and it's really good. But anyway, I have actually made it to the Pokemon Center, and, you know... Welcome to the Pokemon Center! We heal your Pokemon back to perfect health! <laughs> okay, we'll need your Pokemon! <laughs> that was creepy, was it? <laughs> Apparently, I, I'm being creepy. No, <laughs> Yay, I'm haunting Wolfie's nightmares again. Thank you! Your Pokemon are fighting fit! I don't even know where I'm getting that voice from. We hope to see you again. A demented version of Charlie the Unicorn. Oh great, now the singing starts. Anyway, that is my uh, Rex play of Pokemon Episode 3. I'm probably going to call it Game Trader because I'm so inventive with, with my names. Right. <laughs> so, have fun everyone. And good night. Uh, that was Reds Retro. Uh, let's play Pokemon Episode 3. Uh, Pokemon Blue Episode 3 even. Good, my, uh, good night and goodbye.